So I've got a bit behind with the videos and these are the five reasons why. Um, these guys are growing really fast and already they're, uh, you know, expert climbers, but they're taking up a lot of my time at the moment. Rescuing uh, baby wild animals is almost always a bad idea. Um, you know, if you come across them in the jungle, you know, they, they may look like they're, they're abandoned, but often, you know, the mother is around and, you know, she's, she's just out foraging for food or something. And, you know, she, you, your very presence near the nest, you know, can frighten her away and she may even, you know, abandon the nest. I mean, that's if it's a small animal like these, if it's civet cats, if it's a large animal like a bear or a leopard, she may be planning on how best to attack you, you know. So, you know, I mean, generally speaking, if you come across, uh, you know, young animals in, in the wild, you know, the best thing is to leave them alone. If you're really worried about them, you know, go to, a, 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 you know, stay at a safe distance and see whether the mother does come back. But you're going to need to be very, very patient to do that. Um, the other problem with rescuing baby animals, you know, certainly, I mean, these guys, their eyes opened about three days ago, um, you know, is that they're, they're very reliant on their mother, you know, they for warmth, for, you know, they get fed, you know, con you know constantly by the mother. Um, and to hand rear them is incredibly difficult. And I tried once with, you know, baby rats. And, yeah, they all died. And, you know, it's because you had to, we had to feed them every two hours through the day, you know, through the night. Uh, you know, we were feeding these guys. Um, after they'd been fed, the mother licks the genitals. That makes the, you know, to um, make the, um, ba the baby, uh, you know, urinate or defecate. And if, you know, you've got to, you don't, obviously you don't lick it. You just get it like a Q-tip and you have to do the same thing. Otherwise, they die. You know, if the temperature isn't right, they die. If they don't get fed enough, they die. I mean, it is incredibly difficult to hand rear these animals. I mean, I'm not sure that these guys are all going to make it. I, I hope they do. Um, but, you know, the general rule is mothers are much better at looking after, you know, these, these young than, than we are. Um, and if you don't do it properly, they're going to die. So, um, yeah, the other, <laughs> another problem with wild animals is, you know, even though like, you know, this, this age they're very cute and nice, you know, once they hit sort of sexual maturity, uh, it's a different story and, you know, they can, you know, become quite aggressive. And, you know, should, should your rescued wild animal make it that far, you know, what are you going to do with it? I mean, are you, <laughs> you going to keep it in captivity? I mean, it, it's, as I say, generally speaking, not a good idea. So why have I got these, you might ask? Well, because I know where the mother is. The mother is dead. I buried her three days ago. She was hit by a car, unfortunately. Um, and these guys were nesting in a pot on our balcony. So we've kind of taken them in, um, you know, and doing our, our best with them. But as I say, you have to feed them, you know, every two hours, which means, you know, if you have to go to work or if you want to sleep a lot, it's going to be very, very difficult indeed. Uh, once they get onto solids, it's, it's a little easier. Um, but yeah, you know, they need to be kept warm, um, they need to be fed a lot, it's hard work. Being jungle at animals, civic cats of course, prefer hammocks to tents. <laughs>